what is an appraisal, why do I need one, and how much do they cost? These are the things we're gonna talk about today, so stick around. Hi, my name is Sarah Delacondro, and if you're new here, I'm a real estate agent in Eastern Mass, and I work with buyers, sellers, renters, and investors taking care of all of their real estate needs. This YouTube channel here will hopefully help guide you through the world of real estate, along with learn a little bit about what there is to do in Massachusetts and what it's like to be a real estate agent. So if any of that stuff interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you get notified whenever a new video drops. Now, let's talk about appraisals. There are a few different reasons why you would need an appraisal. The first reason is you're buying a home. And if you're buying a home and you need a mortgage, the bank is going to require that an appraisal get done on your home. The second reason is refinancing. And the third reason is getting out a home equity line of credit or a HELOC. Any of those three reasons, if you are doing them, you'll require an appraisal. And an appraisal is simply a third party, unbiased opinion of the fair market value of your home. Now, if you're buying a home and you need a mortgage, the bank wants to know that the money it's lending you, it will get back in the event that you don't pay your mortgage. Now, every month when you pay your mortgage, part of that goes to the principal, part of that goes to the interest, and part of that may or may not go to taxes and home insurance. So every month you are paying back a portion of your mortgage. But if for some reason you stop paying your mortgage, what's the bank to do? the bank will eventually take your home and then turn around and sell it. So it gets the money that it loaned you back. Now, before a bank agrees to give you that money in the first place, the bank wants to know that it can get that money back if it needs to. And that's where the appraisal comes in. Now, remember I said an appraisal is a third party evaluation or opinion of the fair market value of your home. So what the bank could get for your home in today's market if it needs to turn around and sell it. And whatever that amount is, it needs to cover what you borrowed from the bank. So what are some of the things that appraisers will look for when they're appraising your home? Well, they will look at the location of your home. They will look at the condition of your home. They will look at any upgrades, updates, additions that you've put on your home. How many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, they will look at the age of things like the roof, the mechanicals, all that stuff. Takes all that data, crunches some numbers, and comes up with a fair market value of your home. So how much does this appraisal cost and how long does an appraisal last for? When you are buying a home or getting a refinancing, home equity, line of credit, all that kind of stuff, you will pay for the appraisal and that's usually wrapped up in the closing costs. So appraisals can vary, but you'll generally pay a few hundred dollars. And like I said, that gets wrapped up in the closing costs. How long is an appraisal good for? Well, technically an appraisal is good for forever, but because market conditions change so much, you can expect an appraisal to you stick with a house for about six months. If you're getting an FHA or a VA loan, that time could change, but in general, an appraisal will last somewhere around six months. So what that means is if you bought a home in May and in December, the rates drop and you decide to refinance, well, you will need a new appraisal done because it will be beyond six months. And banks typically, hit that six month mark and require a new appraisal to be done. So keep that in mind. So what if the appraisal comes back and the number that the appraiser comes up with as a fair market value for your home doesn't match what you're paying for your home? Well, then we have a situation. And in the coming weeks, I will post a video about options that you'll have if the appraisal does not match the listing price. So keep an eye out for that. So if you are interested in the real estate market, living in Massachusetts and life of a real estate agent, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you get notified whenever a new video drops. And if you got value out of this video, I would love a thumbs up. If you have questions about the real estate market, about appraisals, go ahead and put a comment down below. 
And if you think you'll be making a move in the next 12 months or so, I'm happy to help you out and I always have time to chat. My contact information will be somewhere on this screen as well as the description below. Thanks for sticking around and we'll see you next time.